Hey gang, welcome back to Big Boy. I'm showing you the 1939 A Frozen Hell, but what I really want to show you dun, 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 is right here. Tornio 44. Uh, just got this on sale through uh, Miku Games. And it came in, you know, I was really worried when I saw the package. This is the package, right? Uh, that's just where I tore it open. But it's a very heavily padded bag. And I thought, oh my goodness, this box is going to get trashed or be trashed. But apparently, when you ship things from Sweden, everyone knows how cool those Swedish people are. So they do not mess with the packages. I don't have a knife. I may not be able to get this out of here. Oh, here we go. So I thought I would open this up and let's have a quick look at it. I've already printed off the rules online and I'm hoping that the 1.3 rules are in here just because. Oh, come on, fella. Here we go. Let's get this padded bag out of the way because the uh, stuffing is going everywhere. All right. I'm going to move that drink out of the way. Nice box lid. Shows you a uh, graphic of the area in question. And then uh, that's sort of a detailed uh, battle map for situation map for, for one of a, a, better, a better term. And a very significant explanation of what the, uh, what the story is what the counters look like, what the map, look, map looks like. Uh, unit scale is company scale, the time scale is 12 hours, map scale is a kilometer per hex, uh, playing time six to 10 hours, and it's uh, you know, five on a complexity scale of one through 10, but you know, who knows what that really means these days. That's all pretty, pretty relative. Uh, my quick look at the rules, I, I was hoping or thought this would be a, uh, like a low res introduction to their uh, finished trilogy, but it's not, it's a completely different system. So uh, that's okay. I wanted to see what the designer had in mind and what his thinking was for this particular battle. I, I find this, a, this to be an interesting uh, situation given that it's after the, <clears throat> after the, uh, after the Germans, after the Finns have basically swapped sides. So let's open the box. Nice quality box. You saw the artwork on the outside. Uh, this is uh, version one of the rules. So I will have to use 2D6. I will have to use the, uh, the PDF version, but it's a full color rule book. Pretty densely laid out, uh, but nice sized font. Um, not a lot of, not a lot of paragraph breaks there, but I think that's probably to keep the, uh, keep the size down. I don't see this as being a particularly complex game based on the, the, the reading I've done so far. Uh, good historical summary in the back that I've already read and designer notes in the back that I've already read. Uh, I think it's, uh, going to be pretty interesting and then nice to have a, a the counter sheet for identification and tracking purposes if you're selling the game. And a copy of the map, which I guess you could photocopy and use for a planning map or something like that. But I think that's pretty nice as well. Uh, came with a little bit of a router, I guess, this, or an additional item. I finished stacking marker boxes. And then we've got the rest of the game. Let's have a look at it. There's the German stacking marker boxes on the map. Let's check the counters out first up. Pretty lightweight, right? And thin. This is your classic, uh, feels almost like a desktop publish uh, effort. Um, yeah, they're all well centered and they look good, right? They're, they're pretty looking, but they're they're pretty, pretty uh, thin, but not unattractive at all and look pretty straightforward, right? You've got uh, your standard metrics on these counters here <laughs> lots of fantastic finish abbreviations good luck me pronouncing any of those unit organization charts on both sides for scenarios by the looks of it battle cards
finish order of battle. And then two player raids. Terrain, indirect fire, combat. Combat cost table. And then a uh, player raid with a sequence of play on it. Let's have a look at the map. Just a quick look. This won't be a long, uh, long shrink rip here. Get this out of the way. Let's open this up. See what it looks like in real life. Nice quality paper on the map. It's a handful of scenarios in this game. I think there are th three. I want to guess there are three. I'm trying to remember. <clears throat> so we've got. Uh, Down here in the south, Kemi. The straight here. And then we've got the Tornio here. Nice big hexes. Nice size counters, by the way. Uh, I will uh, say that they are very pleasant. Oh, I see. So here's the finished stacking uh, marker box. So there must be some errors here or some problem with them that I'm unaware of. But uh, it's a nice looking map. And uh, that'll look good on a piece of plex and have the counters on the map. It will be very, very pleasant. All right, so quick look at that. There you go. All you need to know. Uh, I'm not sure what it retails for normally. I think it was uh, 35 euros shipped to my door. Uh, it was the Ziploc edition upgraded to uh, the boxed edition for the sale. So it's probably... It's probably 40 euros or 50 euros uh, for uh, for a non-discounted version or something of that nature. But there you go. All right. I thought I'd share that with you. Cheers.